broken to yeah let's say this is the first week of december wrap up last month i had a pull of few some books for me and yeah and the winner was Paranessi. i I think I showed that on the last video, or no, the video before that, last video is Iceland, of course. Uh, but I also told everyone, all the other books, other books will be in my TBR for December. Um, so, yeah, I read Gallant, that's one of the books uh, on it. It's about a girl named Olivia. Um, she lives in you could say an orphanage and um, yeah, she can't speak so all her communication has to go uh, by writing or by uh, sign language and one day she gets a letter from her uncle stating hey you can go uh, visit us at gallant and Gallant is the name of the building you can see on the front. Um, funny thing is, she's happy she receives the letter. Only in the diary from her mother, in the last pages it says, "Don't whatever happens to you, don't ever go to Gallant. There's some conflict there. Uh, well, she ends up going and yeah, there'll be spoilers, so oh. don't go, go there. Um, yeah, it's my first book I've read by V. Schwab. I can't say I liked it. i also not going to say I dislike it. Um, yeah, the writing style, at least in this book, um, isn't for me. Uh, let me see if I can show you. I really like that there are a lot of. Oh, don't want to break the one. Uh, there are a lot of pictures like this throughout the book. I really like those. But um, yeah, story-wise, for me it wasn't that great. And I know I have some other books by her. Um, waiting for me but that will be for the next video uh so yeah this will be uh not for me book but would recommend it if you like the premise i already showed you uh, or told you and yeah if you like some artwork there's a lot of it in this book And yeah, I already told you, um, I went to Iceland, you saw it maybe in the last video. So I bought some two short storybooks uh, about some folk and fairy tales and some ghost stories uh, from Iceland. Uh, let's start with the ghost tales, or ghost stories. Um, yeah, there are 25. Uh, the neat thing is... And that's also for the uh, fairy tale stories. In one of the beginning pages, you can see, well, this is Iceland, of course. Uh, you can see all the uh, mark points where each story or legend or whatever takes place. So, yeah, that's nice. Um, and. Uh, let's find an example. Um, here we get a summary of where it takes place and building the setting. And then the short story will be three or four pages. Yeah, there are more four or five pages at max. I uh, can't tell you much about each story because there will be huge, huge spoilers. Um, main point is um, mostly. They talk about a pastor or revenant who can make their ghost disappear. And in the earlier ages, 
Um, they spoke about someone cursing a family and that will take uh, nine generations before the curse will be lifted. And yeah, there's also some magicians in it. So yeah, you can kind of say it's also for fantasy something something. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. This is then the um, 25 Icelandic Folk and Fairy Tales. This book and the other one are both written by, and I hope I really pronounced this one correctly, John Jalmarsson? Jalmarsson? Something like that, I guess, I hope. Um, yeah. So, 25 uh, all different stories. Um, yeah, same premise, also Iceland and each of the uh, sightings where things took place. Um, yeah. So we have some elves, some trolls, some mermen, um, a will, wizards, everything, the devil. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's a really fun and fast read. Um, one of these stories, uh, the woman and the seal skin. Um, yeah, I really liked it, and I found a band who has made a song about it. So I will link that one in the description box, uh, so you can see if you like the music um, so yeah oh, sorry about that that was that one and I read um, two audiobooks or listened to two audiobooks while doing a puzzle so yeah the first book I read was um, The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman Feels really weird not to hold a book right now. So, in a book, we meet our main character. Um, he's nameless, so we, yeah, follow him. And he arrives in the town or the village where he also grew up in. Uh, when he meets someone he knows from his past, he goes back in his memory and relives some uh, some things he thought he had forgotten from then on the story continues when he is a child and at some point his parents have some financial problems and they decided to let's say rent out some of their rooms so he and his sister need to move into one room and uh, his room is ran to other people. Uh, one in particular is the opal farmer, or opal, something to do with opal, uh, and he comes from South Africa. Um, yeah, that man dies at some point, and when he and his father go looking for him, uh, he meets a girl named Letty, Letty Hamstock. Um, yeah, from then on the story goes from, let's say, the normal setting to the fantasy setting. So, um, yeah, after their meeting, um, everything goes it's almost usual for gay men in a weird and fantastical world and yeah I loved it I really loved it I'm not going to say what happens some terrible uh, terrible thing happened some joyful thing happened and yeah it's all through the mind of a kid right so I really liked it and I would highly recommend it And I also read uh, All Systems Red, the first one in the Murderbot books, diaries, and re 
really don't know how the series is. But also in the murder book of murder bot series, my bad. And I think it's by Marco Wells, right? So yeah. And yeah, <laughs> it's a fantastic story. Um, I don't want to spoil it. But oh, it's so good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just good. Uh, it's a short book. It's around 90 to 100 pages. So it's a very, very quick read. Um, yeah, the ending. Oh, it's... <laughs> Yeah, I think it's one of the best books I've read this year. It's a sci-fi, uh, first and foremost. Um, we have some... Yeah, they're still humans. They're going on discovering new planets. Then there are, um, let's say, humans with things installed in them. So they're symbiotic men, whatever, something like that. I really don't have the clear term for it. And there, there, there are the robots. Or let's say our murder bot is one of them. And he's somewhat of a rebellious guy. Um, in this book, he comes out. Uh, in this book, he's very, or he does some very heroic things, and he's also questioning from, uh, or questioning if what I'm doing now, I'm not supposed to do, but it feels right to me to do it. And it's, yeah, it's somehow kind of a search for who he really is. Just a fine entering into the world and seeing what we as humans think is right and what the robot thinks is right. Um, yeah, can't wait to find out more about um, that story because it's really interesting. And like I said, it's only 90 to 100 pages, or the audiobook is three hours, three and a half hours at max. Yeah, I, ow. <laughs> oh, it's, it was great. It, it, yeah, I can just say that it's one of the best books I've read this year. And I've read, uh, let's say, 100 books by now. And still continue to read because we have still three. Two or three weeks left here in December, so yay. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just great. Uh, speaking of the rest of December, um, and I mentioned it er earlier in the video, you gave me, uh, during the poll take, you picked some books um, for me to read. Uh, Paranesi one, I read Gallant uh, as one of my TBRs for December. And there are still three books left to read from that TBR. Um, in short, that are, that are, yeah, they are uh, Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Marlier. And already start in this big one. House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielski. If I'm saying that correctly. Um, so yeah, for December, these are the next three reads I have to read. Uh, yeah. So in the next videos, I'll give you an update for how far I am, if I finished one or not, or what. So anyway, um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know what you've read in the first week of December. And see you in the next video. Bye!